The Queen Elizabeth has become the first hospital in South Australia to roll out cutting-edge virtual reality technology to train doctors in the intensive care unit. Jessica Heatley has this exclusive report. A virtual procedure in intensive care. With your other hand, pick up the ultrasound probe and place it inside the cover. Revolutionising the way we teach our doctors of the future. Yeah, I think it's very similar to how you would see it if you were performing this on a real person. It's the first time Dr Daniel Silverman has tried out the new technology recently introduced at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. It's a lot more immersive and you have all the same uh, equipment and everything there so rather than having a mannequin which kind of can take you out of it a little bit this puts you right into the into the setting. And they can actually safely practice on patients almost as if they're doing the real thing without actually harming any patients. The technology was developed by software company Ventari VR based on the success of virtual training in other industries. As we look to the aviation industry where pilots have to do thousands of hours in the simulator before they flew a plane, and we're thinking, hey, they do that and they deal with real lives, why don't we as clinicians? Dr Raj says one of the major benefits of VR technology is that it standardises teaching of procedures rather than relying on the individual techniques of individual clinicians. And so far, the company's figures look good. It says in the past year, its technology has helped to reduce medical error by 40%, improve student-clinician performance by 32%, and improve safety and hygiene by 39%. That we can make this completely accessible to anyone, and in the future, potentially even train people at home. They're allowed to make mistakes, as many mistakes as they can, so that they keep on learning. Jessica Heatley for 10 News First.